just had to jump on and make a video for you because I think it's going to help you understand why I am not a fan of retail arbitrage. Amazon business owners and very soon to be Amazon business owners. Bob Schneck checking with you today. I hope you are having as great a day as I am. But I just had to jump on and make a video for you because I think it's going to help you understand why I am not a fan of retail arbitrage. I just got a text from my son. Okay, he is a senior in high school, last couple of days of school, and he says, Dad, I need you to do me a really big favor. I'm just so busy right now. And I'm like, what's up? He says, I just got an order and have to get it shipped out. And I've got baseball after school and I got all this stuff going on. It needs to go out today. Can you do it for me? Now, I love to help out my children. Now, why is it that I'm teaching my kids how to do retail arbitrage? The primary reason is I want to teach them about business in general, profit and loss. Uh, I want to teach them about how business works, work ethics, how to find products all sorts of really important things. So I have actually taught all of my children how to do it. And it's a great learning experience for them. It's far better than going and getting a job at Taco Bell or something like that. However, sometimes it falls on my shoulders to help them run their business like today. So he texts me and says, hey, look, dad, super busy. Can you just ship this out for me? And I'm like, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. So I thought it might be a good idea to help you see the process of what it takes to actually do retail arbitrage so that you understand that for me personally, it's not worth my time. All right, so the very first thing I had to do is I had to jump online and I had to actually print off the orders, okay? So the order came through Seller Sense, we got notified. So here is the order right here, okay? As you can see right here, this came from Amazon and it's being shipped to uh, Gislena in Connecticut. All right, so we have to print that one off so we know what they're selling. And what they purchased were, uh, here they are. <laughs> they are roller pads, okay? Again, I've, they've learned the lesson that we don't care what we sell, all we care is what it actually sells, okay? So we have to take the time to jump on the computer. We have to print off the, uh, the actual order form. We want to print two, one to go in the box and one for your records. Okay, let me tell you what I just did there. I sped up the camera so you didn't have to be bored like I did. So what I had to do is I had to take those four roller pad packages. I had to find a box, which I did. I had to put them in the box. The box wasn't big enough, so I had to put another box on top of it. Uh, then I had to measure it. Okay, so it was the right size. Then I had to weigh it to know how much it was going to weigh. And then I had to print off a printing label. Now, you have a choice when you do retail arbitrage. You can either take it to the post office and wait in line and have them print it for you. Uh, or you can actually print uh, postage right from your computer at home, which is what I actually did because I hate the post office. But nonetheless, I still now have to take my son's package and I have to take it down to the post office. So bear with me while we go do that. Okay, here we are. We are on our way to the post office to mail the package that my son was too busy to wrap for one of his customers who bought on Amazon. 
And now, the reason that I'm having to deal with all this, and one of the other reasons that I'm not a big fan of retail arbitrage, is when you're doing retail arbitrage, you usually, typically, are doing what is called Amazon FBM. All right, that's called fulfillment by merchant. That means the person that is selling the product is also responsible to get that product wrapped, packed, and shipped. Now, here's the other issue, is that if you mess up with your Amazon FBM, fulfillment by merchant, then it's gonna cost you the opportunity to eventually earn what is called a featured seller status. Now, featured seller status is something you definitely wanna earn. It is an advanced strategy that I do teach about in our 16-hour online mastery course, so you can learn about it there. But once you become a featured seller, it opens up the doors to all sorts of opportunities that 99% of the people on Amazon don't even have a clue about. Now, if this were an FBA product, remember, we would have bought it from our supplier. Our supplier would have actually shipped it directly to Amazon for us, so we would have never had to see it, touch it, feel it, do all that garbage that I'm doing right now. So we're heading to the post office right now so that we can wrap it and pack it. Now, to this point, it's taken me about 15, 20 minutes to get the product, print the receipts, uh, wrap it and pack it, hop in my car. Now the post office is about 15 minute drive. So that's where I'm headed to right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and turn this off and then I'll turn you back on when we get to the post office. Retail arbitrage, gotta love it. All right, 15 minutes have now gone by and I am just pulling into the post office. So let's see if we can find ourselves a parking spot as we get in here. It doesn't look all that busy today. There have been times where I was here and it was out of control. All right, so we found ourselves a spot. I'm gonna go ahead and park. All right, here we are. We're parking at the post office. Okay, put the car in park. I'm gonna go ahead and grab our box. All right, now one thing that's nice about actually printing off the label when you are at your home, that means no matter how long the line is at the post office, you really don't have to wait at all. Okay, now I've gotta shut this off because they don't like it when you take a camera in the post office. So you can kind of see that's where we are. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I don't like to swear very much, but swear word, look at what I did. Here's the box. And as you can see, where does it say? It says UPS. And I went to the post office, swear word. So now I've got to get in my car and I've got to go find the UPS store. Well, I guess it's not that bad other than wasting time. The UPS store is only five minutes away. So yes, I did make a mistake, human error. I do that every once in a while. But I'm now headed over to the UPS store. But again, if we were doing the FBA strategy, we wouldn't have to worry about any of this, okay? But again, another reason that uh, retail arbitrage is not my favorite thing in the world. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and drive to the UPS store and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. We are approaching the UPS store. And again, since we've paid postage, it's not a big deal because all we gotta do is walk in and drop it off. However, let me see if I can find a parking spot. Dang it, somebody just took that one. All right, looks like I am going to cannot find a parking spot Ugh! looks like I'm gonna have to go around the corner okay so you see my frustration right I am trying to do my son a favor now why why did I not just let him uh, you know deal with it himself because when you're doing FBM with Amazon you have to make sure you do it right every single time Okay, because if you don't, then it's gonna count against you. And when it counts against you, against your performance index, then it starts to hurt 
uh, the sales that you'll actually get. So you got to make sure you do it right every time. And like I mentioned before, what it's also going to do is give you the opportunity to earn a featured seller status. And with that featured seller status comes a tremendous amount of advanced opportunity with Amazon. So let me see if I can find us a parking spot up here and then I will jump out and take care of it. Looks like we've got one right here in front of the bank. All right, so I'm here and uh, I'll check in with you as soon as I get out. All right, well, five minutes later, I am now just around the corner from the UPS store. And again, it's not that big a deal because all I got to do is just drop it off. But what a pain in the butt to have to get in your car, fight traffic, try to find a parking spot, which I missed, and get all the way down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk down here and see if we can find the up store, as my children call it. It's a lovely day for a walk, but still, what a pain in the butt, huh? All right, so it looks like we're here. Let me show you. Here we go. There is the UPS store. All right, so I'm going to go in, I, and I'll get back to you when I get out. Okay, well, that didn't take very long, right? Drop it off. But it's not that single thing. It's the accumulation of everything together to make one sale. Now, when I get home, which will be in about 20 minutes, I will hop on, I'm going to do the math, and I'm going to figure out how much profit my son made. I don't even get the money. But that's what a good dad does. I'll see you when I get home. Okay, I was just thinking that one of the other reasons that retail arbitrage is not really my favorite thing is just the simple fact that it's not scalable. Now look at everything that I had to go through just to ship one order. And on that one order, I don't even know how much money was made, but I know it wasn't a lot because the total order was $35. Shipping was 13. Uh, the cost of the product was 10. So whatever Amazon fees are, I'll bet you my son's gonna make a net profit of maybe five or six bucks, okay? And it's taken a tremendous amount of time, energy, effort, when I would have much rather been doing something else, right? So that's one of the other reasons that I think what Algo has put together with our business model of buy low, sell high, and sell the name brand products is why it's so genius, because we use the power of the Amazon platform so that they can ship the products for us so we never have to go through what I've been going through this afternoon. Now, I did it because I love my son, and it's a great way to teach him how to do certain things, but again, uh, this is the type of business where retail arbitrage is not the solution to what you're looking for. All right, it's not going to provide you more time, it's not going to provide you huge incomes. Uh, so let's focus on what does. And again, I would challenge you if you like this video, I know it's been a little bit odd, but I thought it would be fun to walk you just through the process of what it takes to do retail arbitrage. Not to mention that the products that my son sold in this order have actually been on the uh, on his store for almost six months. So again, that's one of those things when you're not doing FBA and you're using the FBA FBM platform. Uh, what happens is is you're you're not eligible for that buy box, and so you can't get uh, you're not accessing 90% of Amazon sales. So anyways, uh, I would recommend that you uh, check it out more, get more in depth. Uh, we have a proven business model that I think will, uh, will open your eyes to the power of what Amazon really has to offer. And I would love to show you how to do it. So click the button below to subscribe. Let me know you like the video. If you have any videos you want me to do, write them in the comment box. Or if you have any questions, put them in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you out with that. Uh, and oh, this week, I'm going to be hosting a free online webinar where I'm actually going to go into depth on how our platform actually works, the buy low, sell high, sell name brand products, and I would love to have you check it out. So again, uh, this is Bob Schneck. Hope you've enjoyed this. A little bit weird this time, but you know what? It's awesome to be a part of this business. Thanks again. We'll see you around.